HWID bans on Rust are the hardest to bypass since apart from your IP address being banned, there are also one or multiple hardware parts with unique identifiers blacklisted by Rust. The Rust hardware ID ban, mainly applies to cheaters in-game and people who break the rules. But there are some cases when users get hardware banned without an obvious reason. Whatever your case may be, in this video, you will find all the information you need to spoof and change your hardware IDs to bypass an HWID ban or IP ban in Rust. This process will take some time, so you must be patient and careful with the instructions. To get unbanned from the hardware ban on Rust with 100% success, you should do every step of this guide in the same order as shown in this video and not skip a single one. If you miss anything, you'll most likely fail to get unbanned on Rust, and you will have to redo everything. Slothy Tech doesn't take any responsibility for your actions. The content you will find in this video is for educational and research purposes only. You are not encouraged to use these methods or techniques. I've collected into a folder all the files and tools you will need to change your HWIDs, IP, and MAC address and bypass the any ban on Rust. You can find the files in the description below. You could follow this guide without downloading my files if you wanted to. You can find a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to do that on my website. Let's get straight to it. Before you do anything, go ahead and download the files, extract them, and move the HWID bypass folder to your C drive. The first and most important thing you'll have to do when your hardware banned on Rust is to completely uninstall Rust and make sure to clear every single file related to it. We want to ensure that no files are left on your PC that could link you back to the hardware it ban. Navigate to Programs and Features, or click on the shortcut. Locate Rust, click on it, and choose Uninstall. Make sure to uninstall Rust as well as its launcher. I don't have Rust installed at the moment, but you get the point. Now let's start clearing up all trace files left on your PC. Double-click each shortcut on the first folder of the files, look for folders and files related to Rust, and if you locate any, delete it. Once you delete everything related to Rust from all these locations, the next thing you will have to do is to delete some leftovers in the registry. Either press Windows key plus R, and type reget it or double-click the registry shortcut in the folder. A window should pop up. What you will have to do now is to copy each of the locations on the text file, paste them into the registry search bar, and then look for any folders related to Rust and delete them. At each location, you will see a lot of folders on the left side. Right-click on any folder related to Rust and choose Delete. Next, you will need to edit a few registry keys that could link you back to the Rust HWID ban. Get back to the registry editor, and navigate to the following path. Go to the GUID generator website, click the button to generate a new GUID, and copy it. On the right side of the registry window, you should see the machine GUID key. Double-click on it, replace the GUID with the generated one and click OK. Again, copy the path from the text file and paste it into the search bar on the top side. Go to the GUID generator website, click the button to generate a new GUID, and copy it. On the right side of the registry window, you should see the HW profile GUID key. Double-click on it, replace the ID with the generated one and click OK. Now let's move on to the next step. Your IP address is the most crucial security step that will make or break everything you will do to get unbanned from Rust. The best way to change your IP address is to use a VPN service or a proxy server. Proxies need an excellent setup to avoid disconnections and unhiding your IP, so let's stick with the VPN. I recommend using NorVPN because they have high-quality VPN servers which will ensure the best gaming experience and the lowest ping possible while using them. I can't find a completely free working method to go around the ban, but this is the cheapest it can get. Go ahead and register a NorVPN account, and download and install it on your PC because you will need it later on. Hard drives are one of the most common hardware parts that get blacklisted on a Rust hardware ban. Luckily, changing your hard drive serial number is effortless to do and it won't cause any issues on your hard drives or files if you follow the next steps. Navigate to the Step 4 folder and you should see a file named Change Disk IDs. Right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. It will open a command prompt with all your drives, and you will be asked which drive ID you want to change. Type just the letter of the drive and hit Enter. Press any key to continue, and your disk's SN should be changed. Do the same thing for the other drives once you get a message that the drive ID has been changed successfully. Once you've changed all your drive IDs, move on to the next step of the guide. If you want to do them manually, I will leave a link in the description for software that can help you. In this step, 
you will learn how to change your hardware IDs on every hardware part of your PC that Rust bans. Navigate to the Step 5 Change HWIDs of Everything folder, right-click on the Change All HWIDs file and choose Run as Administrator. Then you will be asked to press any key to continue changing your hardware parts IDs, and the command prompt will show you up front your new hardware IDs for every hardware part that was banned from Rust. Once you press any button to continue, your command prompt should look like this. You've successfully changed all your system hardware IDs, and you are ready to move on to the next step to permanently fix the ban on Rust. Next, you will need to change your MAC address to make sure it's not the same as the one that is blacklisted from Rust. Download Technicium MAC Address Changer, and install it on your PC. Once the installation is completed, go ahead and run Technicium MAC Address Changer, select your network connections, click on the random MAC Address button, and click Change Now. That's it, quick and easy. Let's move on to the next step. Now that you got everything ready, it's time to create a new Rust account or buy a cheap one from any marketplace. If you are going to create a new account, make sure to use a new email address as well as a new mobile phone. If you don't have an extra mobile number, you will find links to websites that can help you out with the verification of your mobile phone. Once you have your account ready, move on to the next steps, and don't use your account just yet. In some rare cases, your monitor serial might also be a part of the HWID ban. I would say that it's worth changing it since the process is straightforward and quick. To change your monitor's ID serial, follow the next steps. Navigate to the folder step 8, change monitor HWID, right click on CRUEXE, and choose run as administrator. On the top side of the custom resolution utility app, choose your monitor and click on the edit button. Change the value of the ID serial and click OK. Do the same for all your monitors and move on to the next step. Getting your mouse, keyboard, controller, and other peripherals banned or flagged is rare, and it mostly happens in manual HWID bans. Since it will only take 1 to 2 minutes to hide all your peripheral serial numbers, I recommend doing it to be safe. Navigate to the Step 9 Hide Mouse, Keyboard, and Controller Serial Numbers folder or download Use to View, right-click on Use to View, and choose Run as Administrator. Locate your mouse, right-click on it, and select Open in Reg Edit. Right-click on the marked folder on Registry Editor and choose Permissions. A window will pop up, and you should find the Read column and tick the Deny option. Once you do that, click Apply and OK. Repeat the same steps for your keyboard and controller, and you should be good to go. The last step is to prepare everything to finally connect back to Rust and enjoy the game. Run NOR VPN and connect to a server. Note that you will have to use NOR VPN every single time you connect to Rust. Enable the kill switch option on NOR VPN settings which will make sure that your real IP address doesn't get leaked to Rust. Go ahead and download and install Rust. Log in with your new account and enjoy the game. You can find tips and tricks, as well as more information related to Rust hardware bans, on my website. All related links will be in the description. Let me know in the comments below if it worked for you or if you faced any difficulties.